Cops endanger their lives to save citizens from dangerous criminals. But what happens when these roles are reversed and good Samaritans end up saving cops' lives? Here are seven cases where help from Samaritans proved to be life-saving for these cops. He's helping me because you kept cop. moving. Why you? I'm helping the cop. This is a convicted criminal, Hayan Dung who is on the run from New York City police after being involved in the killing of her boyfriend on the 19th of September, 2021. She is found just outside Albuquerque, New Mexico, in her car with flat tires pulled over by the side of the highway. To her fortune, Officer Selena from the New Mexico Police Department sees her and approaches her to help. But the officer doesn't have the slightest hint of what is about to unfold. Yeah, you still, you still here? What happened? He don't come in. Oh, he's still not here? Yeah, one hour. One hour? It's just 30 minutes. Okay, you want me to see if I can help you? No, my friend's come. Okay, is he coming from Albuquerque? Ooh. Is he bringing you a flat tire? Is he bringing you a tire? Hey, you can bring me the, you can bring, you can take me, go here. You can take me, go here. Oh, you want me to take you yeah, there? Yeah, you take me. Oh, well, um, let me see. I, I, but are they still going to come get you? Yeah, he come here, I, he will get the car go. Oh, okay. You take me? Uh, I don't know yet. Let me see. Uh, let me see what, let me see what your car looks like. See, maybe I, ha I have a tire. I can help you with it. You can help me? Yeah. Let's see. Okay. I just want to help me. I see. Ooh, you did a good job. What happened? Stand, stand over here out of the street, okay? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah? Five, 580, Sinkong. Let me see if I could take you there to Manal. You, you take me out? I have a 28 out of Pennsylvania. Yeah, and I'll be able to take you. Another one? Yeah. Okay. Lincoln Mary William, 2597. I'll be out with the uh, 41. It's only that side? Yes. Let's see on this side. This side, okay. Oh. Just Let's go over here and let me go see, call someone, see if they got a tire for you and they can come fix it. Okay. Come on. Can you fix me? Yeah. But you gotta go, I gotta go see if they got a tire. The officer offers her some help, but Hayan seems distant and non-cooperative. The female deputy reached back to her to check if she had a spare tire available. At the same time, the dispatcher makes her aware of Hayan's criminal record. I've got three state police, uh, SB 580 is out of the address right now with a female. Who is that dispatch on direct? Copy, it's gonna be a reference to a uh, homicide suspect out of New York. The cop is alerted. She is hinted at the possibility that she might be the suspect from New York. Look at how the cop starts to detangle the situation. The first time I came, it was like an hour ago. You come here for an hour? Yeah. And then I wanted to check on you again because I didn't know. Let me call this person right here. What was your name? What's your name? Juan? Juan. Juan? W-A-N-G. Oh, W-A-N-G. I'm Selena. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hello. They're checking right now to see if they got any tires. How long he can? They're, they're right here in this next town right here. Okay. They're coming here? They're coming here. If they have one. You here one hour? No, not one hour. Less than one hour. 30 minutes. Yeah. They're gonna call me back. So I get the car? Is Are you cold? cold? Oh, okay, hold on. Just wait for a minute. Is it cold? Yeah. Aren't you from Pennsylvania? It's not cold there? Oh, no. It's warm? It's cold too. Oh, it's, it both places is cold? Yeah. yeah. Can I take the clothes? Huh? I go to the car and take the clothes. Oh, you need clothes from there? Yeah. Okay, hold on. What did you, what did you need from there? What? What did you need from there? What do you need? What, 
What do you need from there? Coals. Oh! It's the coal. Okay. All right. Well, just hold on, okay? Right, right here, right, right here, right, right here. I don't know, because I don't know what's in your car. Hold on. You just need a sweater? Yeah. Okay, is it in the front or the back? Yeah. Let me see. Hold on. You, you can open them. Okay, well, I don't I don't know what's in there. I just got to make sure there's no one else or anything else in there. You can open it. Okay. Just for right now, let me see if um, your hands. Let me see your hand. What? So I'm going to just detain you for a little bit until I figure out what's in your car. What? Let me see what's in your car and then I'll get you your jacket. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What the hell? Why? Huh? Because I'm going to see what's in your car. Why, why you... Huh? Why you cut me? No, I'm going to just detain you for I can see. Get your sweater. Yeah, but... The, what, what, why you cut me? What? Why you cut me? Because I'm going to get your sweater. Hold on. I'll get your sweater. What do you mean? What? See what's in your car. Oh. You're not going to get back. You can see it. Okay. You can see it. I hold on. Okay. You, you can see it. Turn around. Okay. Turn around. Um, oh my god. Okay, hold I'm on. I'm tired of her. Stop right there. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Stop right there. Uh, oh, help me. Hold on. Help me. Ah. Uh, uh, what? What? Stop. What happened? Stop moving. Yeah. Ah. Stop moving. What happened? Turn around. Oh my God. Uh -huh. Stop. Get on uh -huh. your back. Get on your belly. Stop. Oh, I like. Stop. I know. What happened? You. Ah. 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 Stop. What happened? Tell Stop. me. I don't know you. I don't know you either. But Stop moving. But what Let happened? Me. Nothing happened. You're you're moving around. I know. Stop moving. Okay. You put me out. Stop. Okay. Put me out. No, I'm not getting you out. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Right uh huh. Uh huh. Turn on your belly. Get on your belly. Uh, uh, Get on your belly. Oh my God. Get on your belly. Stop. Oh my, oh my God. Uh huh. What happened? Stop right there. What happened? You, stop moving. I know, but you put me out. Oh, I just I stand you to on your belly. Oh my God. Oh on your my belly. God. Ah. Stop. Oh my God. Ah. Ah. Selena seemed to be on the losing side of this struggle before a good Samaritan jumped in. Soon after, reinforcements join, and Haiyan's desperation increases to find an escape. Help me! Stop! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Stop moving! Uh -huh. Stop moving! Uh -huh. I just need to get her hands. Uh, get me. on your belly! Help me! Get on your belly! Help Put me! Your Put your hand behind your back! Uh, Put it behind your back! Uh, Stop! Help me. Stop. Oh, what happened? Put your hands behind your back. Stop. Now I'm going to uh, check you for weapons. Stop moving. Stop moving. Who are you? He's helping me because you kept car. moving. Who are you? I'm helping the cop. Stop. Get up. Get up. Got her now? Yeah, appreciate it. Come on, roll her on her knees. There you go. Stay right there. Stop moving. Why were you trying to get in the car? I told you not to get in the car. The cops finally succeed in arresting Hayan. They then detained her and started looking for any weapons on her. You the one, Selena? Yeah, she is. She is. You good? Yeah, it's just. Sorry, they give us wrong 49, dude. I know, dude. dude. I heard. Just for a second. Sit in there, okay? Spread Take off feet. your shoe. Spread your feet. Take off your shoe. Take off your shoe. 
pick your feet up. Your feet. Step right here. Lean up against the car. Spread your legs. Spread your feet. Spread your feet. I appreciate you. Are you okay? Yeah. When I was coming, I was coming you. down the road. And I looked over and I saw you wrestling with her. I hit the shoulder and backed up and ran over here to help her. I appreciate you. Man. Yes, ma'am. I remember Are you. From you. I Mexico? talked. Mexico here? Yeah, I talked to you at the Maverick station on Wantabo that morning when the weather was all nasty. I don't remember, man. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's no big deal. You were dealing with all the big wreck and the big pile up and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, I remember your face. So. I told you not to get in the car. Right. You kept on trying to get into it. That's why I put you on the ground. That's why I was laying on you. You're just gonna wait here, okay? I was sneaking my deed, brother. Yeah. You wanna put her in there for now? Yeah. Step in the vehicle. New Mexico State Police allegedly recovered a revolver from Dung's car that was a ballistic match to the bullet found at the murder scene in her flushing apartment, according to the charges. Dung was arraigned on January 29, 2022, on a nine-count indictment in Queen's Supreme Court. She was charged with murder in the second degree, criminal possession of a weapon in the second and fourth degree, burglary in the first degree, assault in the third degree, criminal mischief in the fourth degree, and harassment in the second. If you think this female deputy was saved at the last moment, wait till you what this next criminal was about to do to Sergeant Buedi. He's, he's right there. He's, he's taking that car. He's taking the car. This is Sergeant Buedi from the Florida Police Department. He is patrolling and initiating a traffic stop to arrest Michael Prouty. Michael, on the morning of the 24th of October, 2023, committed a robbery in a lady's house, taking hold of a mobile phone, purse, and car. He was found driving the same stolen car on the streets of Ocala around 11 a.m. He's now, uh, oh, he just crashed at 40 and Pine. 40 and Pine, signal four. Ten, 10 to white male bailing. He's right there. He's, in, he's taking that car. He's taking the car. The police were after him, but he was too quick to be caught. Luckily, some third-party aid came in handy at Starbucks driveway. This courageous Samaritan puts his life on the line to help the cops to be sure that Michael doesn't escape. Show me your hands! Show me your hands! Prouty is currently being held in Marion County Jail and is confronting multiple charges from the agency, including fleeing and eluding, attempted carjacking, and others. He was also implicated in a robbery at a 7-Eleven convenience store in the early hours of October 24th, preceding the home invasion incident in Sumter County. Furthermore, Prouty served a six-year prison sentence starting in 2017 for burglary and robbery charges. He was granted release in July 2022 under a community release program, which he violated by committing additional felony crimes in Miami-Dade County. Subsequently, he returned to prison to complete his initial sentence and was released in February 2023. He was then transferred to Miami-Dade Jail to address pending felony charges and successfully bonded out in March 2023. If you think this was the end of life and death situation, then you must watch the case where an overspeeding car was seen by the cops. You mean, we're, he can't breathe. You mean you're gonna lift this car up right now. Yes, help, help. Someone get in there and pull him out when he, when he lift it up. On the night of September 13th, 2023 officers from the Lawrence Mill Police Department witnessed a car speeding and being driven recklessly by a 19-year-old. Before a chase could be initiated, the car flips and meets a terrible accident. Sergeant Peterson sees the car crashing and turning over by the side of the road. Fortunately enough, the passengers were safe, but the driver was stuck, choking and grasping for some air. The cops have little time at their disposal before things turn bad. The boy was rescued just in time by sheer unity between the cops and Samaritans. Sir, 
Please help us out. Please help yep. us out. Yep, go now. Go now. Go sit over there by He's the curb. The Who's still in there? He's in the passenger seat. Go sit. Go sit. Go sit. Got three white males. Where you at? Oh my god. All right, have a seat. Help him out. Help him out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey man, stop moving. Stop moving. We're trying to get out of it. Can you breathe? Can you? You can't breathe. Yo, yo. You me? We're gonna, he can't breathe. You and me are gonna lift this car up right now. Yes, help, help. Someone get in there and pull him out. When he, when he lift it up. Help. One, two, three, push. He, he's still, he, he's up under the, the car. Pull the car up. Pull the car up. Pull the car up. Pull the car up. Let's get under here. Boss, one, two, three, come on, guys. There we go. There we go. Pull the car up. Push the car up. Come on, y'all. We got this. Come on, y'all. One, two, three. The 19-year-old driver is currently undergoing medical treatment at a local hospital for several injuries sustained in the crash, stated LPD. The actions of the four officers and the Good Samaritans undoubtedly saved his life. A similar, yet more courageous assistance came from Johnny Garcia, who was seen carrying a wounded police deputy, Mario Verbeck. Hey, let's go. You still can't see the guy. Okay, okay. Put your head up. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. On the 19th of August, 2021, at 9.18 in the morning, police officers from Albuquerque Police Department engaged in a fierce and bloody gun battle with a local gang. Mario Verbeck, an officer from Albuquerque Police Department, had taken some bullet shots during the gunfight. Officer Verbeck was down while the battle continued around him. But what happens after a short while truly surprised the officers present. Police! Johnny Garcia, the hero of the moment, reportedly hopped a fence to provide safety to Officer Verbeck. Have a 
Say with me, okay? Talk to me, Mario. Talk to me. Talk to me. Hey, hey, hey. I know, I know. Hey, Sean, I have a selfie setting up a route so when the 34 seconds uh, get to TOT, you can let them know. Now I'm going to the road. Will do, sir. And um, 504 PD. We're also going to need another 55 over to the Dutch Brothers. I know that's already been requested, but I think next Friday. Ask if he needed one. He said he already had one. I'm being advised by the field units that it's going to be the one in the black shirt. I think he had westbound first. Oh, Bye-bye. Black shirt westbound from there. There's a... Is him Thank you, Juan. It looks like state police helicopters up. Can we reach out to them and see if they can assist? Him. In this confrontation, a convicted felon engaged in a shootout with four officers, resulting in injuries to all four law enforcement officers. Although the suspect was shot, he still survived. Officer Verbeck also survived the incident, and Mr. Garcia was acclaimed as a hero. Since then, the two have formed a strong bond and become best friends. If you think brutality ends here, you haven't heard of the case about what David Kobeck did to Officer Stacy Wright. Have a seat. I'm not sitting. I'm not sitting! Back off! Back up! I'm not sitting, mother. We're getting physical. This is suspect David Kubek, who on the 10th of September 2022 was asked to pull over for speeding on Lost Nation Road, Ohio at around 4.25 p.m. by Officer Stacy Wright. This should have ended as a normal speed ticket fine, but Kubek decided to take the matter into his own hands rather than obeying the law. Day 12 radio traffic stop. April. Lost Nation in the airport with Tom Henry Ocean Robert Edward One. Hello. I'm not sure I will be placed on it. The reason why I'm stopping you is speed. 57 and a 35. You're going 57 and a 35, sir. You have your driver's license, proof of insurance. Why are you getting out of the car, sir? I don't get my driver's license. 12 radio, this male just stepped out of the vehicle. Step over here now. Have a seat on the ground. Have a seat. I'm not sitting. I'm not sitting! Back off! Back up! I'm not sitting, mother. We're getting physical. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not I will tase you, sir. Touch the vehicle. Put your hands on the fucking vehicle now! What the fuck? Son of a bitch! Radio, send me units. Roll over on your stomach, now! Knock it off, man! Knock it off now! Get your arm behind it! Put man. your arm behind your back! Okay, get your cops! Get your cops, get your cops! Shut up! Shut up! You don't do that to a woman. Do you understand me? Fuck or not, you don't do that to a woman. All right, Jake, get money. Take it down. All right. Don't do that to a woman. Right, you got raised you. All right. You're good up here. Okay. Males detained at this time. Keep your squad. God bless. Oh. Rolling your side. Stand up. Walk back to my car. Samaritans came to assist the female cop witnessing the struggle they were engaged in. These good Samaritans let the power of law prevail.
Kobeck was apprehended on charges that encompass assault on a police officer, resisting arrest, and speeding. Speaking of prevailing law, this next case of Michael Barber and Travis Wise needs your attention. He crashed, he crashed. This is Officer Gary Guild from the Michigan State Police Department, who is chasing these criminals in Berrien Township, Michigan, on February 20th, 2017, at around 8.40 in the morning. Body cam footage shows Michael Barber, the suspect being accused of stealing the motorcycle he is riding. He crashed, he crashed. Luckily, the suspects didn't manage to escape in the end, and Office Gary, after so much struggle, finally arrested Michael, with the help of some good Samaritans around. Both Barber and Wise were taken into custody at the scene. They are confronted with numerous charges, with assault strangulation carrying the most significant weight at 10 years if proven guilty. Speaking of escaping, this next clip demonstrates such a perfect attempt. Hey, is that it? Sir, sir. Come back here, man. Come on, go ahead. Ah, don't, 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 don't do that. This is suspect Frank Padilla Velez, 41, who on the 18th of May 2018 cut across all lanes of traffic of Howland Boulevard and almost hit a police deputy's cruiser. Deputy Anthony Zimmerer with the Volusia County Sheriff's Office quickly stopped Velez's black Ford F-150 and started his interrogation. But the unsuspecting deputy did not know that Velez was not planning to yield in without a fight. Who? Come here. Come here. Come here. What are you doing? Come here. Calm down, calm down. What is it? What are you doing? You're, you're, you're crazy. You're going crazy here. Okay. We are. What is going on? Because you about you could have almost crash into me. Don't say. Calm down. What's your name? Frampadilla. Frampolina. I want to call my law. No, 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 no. You better stay right here. Come back here a second. Come back here a sec. Hey. Is that it? Sir, sir. Come back here, man. Come on, go on. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back, man. Put your hands on your back. Stop. Come down. Ah, don't, 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 don't do that. Velez tries to escape. However, two good Samaritans saw the fight break out and pulled over to help the deputy. Deputies said Richard Crowley stopped to assist the deputy and Joseph Patrick helped secure Padilla Velez's dog, which had jumped out of the man's truck during the struggle. The upcoming visuals are from the other cop's perspective. Hey, 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 get, get on the ground. Get on the ground. Put your hand behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. 
Come on, put your hand behind your back. It'll be over soon. Put your fucking hand behind your back. They're gonna give me. Nobody's gonna kill you. They wanna give me. It ain't working, buddy. It ain't working. They wanna give me. They wanna give me. Calm down, we got one customer. You okay, sir? You bleeding? No, I'm fine. Okay. How are you? You know you're bleeding? Okay. You good? Yeah. Everybody okay? We're going to the rescue. Oh. Hey! Yeah. Relax. Yeah. Relax. Well, uh, I mean, well, nobody hit you in your face. Relax. Sit up. That's you hit me, buddy. You hit me. You hit me. Sit on your butt. Get up and sit on your butt. Help me! Get up. Help me! Help me! Look it up on me! What happened? They, I was at the intersection and they started fighting. I guess they were resisting. Oh, okay. So you're just a witness bystander? I'm just a witness. I pulled in here. This is this truck and the dog jumped out, so I put the dog back in the truck. Oh, okay. So Can I get... Yeah, I'll give you my... I ain't going nowhere. This is a gentleman that helped me. You good, sir? Your officer was just talking to him. Yeah. He shoved your officer, tried to run away. Your officer grabbed his hand. Your officer. Oh, he, 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 he,